Um, let's go to Katie. Kate. Hello, Kate. Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you. But you're not so well, are you? What's happening? No. <laughs> um, well, basically, I had um, an ear infection about two, two and a half weeks ago. And since then, I've had a chronic headache. Oh. Um, it's, it's doing my head in, literally. Yeah, and you've taken <laughs> antibiotics and sprays. I had, and, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, two, yeah, two different lots of antibiotics, um, which, which have actually helped. I actually went to the doctor again yesterday. But you're so worried the because of the headaches, this could be more than just an ear infection. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I was talking to Kate a little bit earlier, actually, and, and what she's describing is the hearing is slightly muffled in that ear, too. That's quite likely that the infection has cleared up, but she's got a, a bit of residual inflammation, which mm. needs to calm down. But the other things to think about is a build-up of fluid behind the ear, and that's mm. the fluid that needs to drain out, and that can cause your hearing to be muffled and give you headaches. So popping your ears, if you can, mm. to allow that fluid to drain, or even using a device like an Otavent can be really good. An Otavent? Otavent, it's called. It, essentially, it's blowing up a balloon using your nostrils and it does exactly the same thing. Other conditions to be wary of, if it's painful to touch around here, mastoiditis, which okay. is where the infection could have spread to well, other people. Well, doctor, with it for much longer. our consultation back. time is over, doctors. <laughs> Thank you both very much indeed. And the surgery is closed.